So this is gonna be a very personal story of mine, but it's something that is gonna be very beneficial for you, especially if you're single or you're looking to associate with better people. So recently, I, I'm a single guy here in New York City, and I've been going around, going out, and trying to date a couple of these girls that I see as high quality and high caliber girls. And a lot of them have rejected me. They're like, well, oh, you know, I gotta go away, or maybe next time, or just not replying, or whatever, just not seeing me. And, you know, for me, I don't really see it as a big deal, but I'm always wondering in my mind, I'm like, I wonder why that is. So, it actually triggered a thought of something that I saw about two years ago. I was watching Steve Harvey, and Steve Harvey had these two girls on that they were on their, that they were in their late 30s, and they were single, and they were looking to get married and have kids, and da da da. So he said, "Listen, go be go off the show for about an hour, and write down separately. They're in two different rooms separately. What you wanted in a, in a man." So after an hour, they came back in, and he started reading through a lot of the the list. And he noticed that a lot of the list actually contradicted. I want a guy that's very masculine and he knows what he wants in life. And then the next item, or three items down would be, I want a guy that's feminine and is in touch with his emotions. And Steve's like, what, what do you really want? Like what, like, what do you want? If you want both, how do you, how do you have a guy that has both? And you know, there's a lot of people like, oh, well it's in this circumstance and that circumstance. But overall, they each had 35 to 40 items on their list. And ironically, they both also had a millionaire. They wanted to both meet a millionaire. So Steve, this is the question that I remember, which was a ridiculous question. He goes, you both want a millionaire, right? I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, but does a millionaire want you? And he didn't say in a condescending way, kind of like I just did right now, but it was more in the like, for me, it's like I'm attracted to these girls that are high quality or high caliber, or they're, they're getting going somewhere in life. And I'm now looking at it, it's like, do they want, are they attracted to me? Like, how about instead of me looking at it one way, I look at it that she also needs to look at me as a rising stock. In other words, she wants to buy my stock because it's on the rise, you know? She's not gonna be like, uh, the guy's kind of negative, he doesn't have much going for him. That's a losing stock. That's a stock you wanna sell. And it's the same thing with friends in that case. Is that if, you, if your friends are a losing stock, in other words, like the stock market, you're not gonna buy a company that's losing value. So it's the same thing in who you attract into your life how, who you attract into your life is the, is to the extent of who you become. So if you are outgoing and fun and exciting and healthy and you have your career in order and you have a good family and good morals, you're gonna have a good chance at getting a high quality girl and, or male and you can, and you're also gonna attract those kind of friends into your life as well. So in other words, this is what I recommend and this is what I heard ironically in Darren Hardy's book, which is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. He says in here, actually it wasn't in here, it was in his, one of his uh, CD products that I have over there, but he said that what he did was write, he wrote down what he wanted in the ideal mate. So write down who you want. I want her or him to be outgoing and fun and exciting and enthusiastic and reads and goes to the gym and da 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 And like, let's be reasonable. Let's keep it to like 15 things, like the top 15 things. Don't go like 35, 40 things like this. these girls did on Steve Harvey. And then from there, you make a picture of who that person is. Like, just think about who that person is. And then put yourself in their shoes and say, who would that person be attracted to and then become that person? And ironically enough, that's what Darren Hardy did and that's who he attracted into his life and that's who he married and he's been happily married because he wanted, and what he said was when he made that list is that's not who he was. In other words, he made the list of who he wanted his wife to be and who that, that woman would want to be attracted to so he was here, and who his wife would be attracted to if he met her was here. 
So he had a lot, he had a lot of work to do. So ironically with me is that I would be attracted to these girls and then six months later, for whatever reason, they would hit me up on Facebook or text me back and be like, hey, what are you doing? Or what are you doing this weekend? I'm like, it's been six months. You rejected me. And ironically enough, this is the kicker, is that I would text them back or I'd get on the phone, I would talk to them or I'd message them on Facebook or whatever the case is. And then we'd maybe hang out, maybe we'd go on a date or whatever. And what was funny is those initial like really like sparked attraction of like this woman knows what she wants and she's she's career oriented, she's healthy and she's outgoing. She's the, and then six months later, you now are on the date with them and you're like, you're not, I wasn't really attracted to them. In other words, you lost attraction. And what I boiled it down to is six months ago, I was someone completely different than I am now. I read books, I went to the gym, I built my confidence by feeling the fear and doing it anyway, feeling the fear and doing it anyway as Dr. Susan Jeffers says. So in other words, as Mike Olson in The Slight Edge says, you're either growing or you're dying. You cannot stay the same. If you think you're staying the same, you're dying, you're just dying slower. In other words, if you go to the gym and you just keep on lifting five pound dumbbells, yeah, you're going to the gym, but you're not putting any stress on your muscles. So, and your muscles will eventually atrophy. So it's the same thing with what I felt or who I became after six months was a confident, more, more confident, more enthusiastic, smarter person. Not like, not like put me on a pedestal kind of person, but I increased in value. My, my stock increased. Not in like, a, like an egotistical way, it's just I read a lot more books. Meanwhile, that person, that girl didn't. You know, she stayed the same, but as Mike Olson says, she actually went down. And ironically enough, who I am in this exact moment is gonna be someone completely different than I am in six months, and in a year, and in two years. So really, what you wanna do is create the woman or man that you want to attract. It like, just think of who you want, then put yourself in their shoes and say, who would they be attracted to? Like Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter's not gonna hang out with me as much as I want him to hang out with me. You know, because he, he, his stock is a little bit higher than mine, okay? You know, he's attracting, he's more confident, he's more enthusiastic, he's more, you know, he, people wanna be around him more. His stock is a little bit higher, so maybe higher quality women who would maybe say no to me would date him. And it's the same thing of what I went through is that I want someone that also develops themselves. So whether it's six months from now or two years from now, they've grown. They're not the same individual. So I implore you to create who you want on a piece of paper, figure out who they would be attracted to and then become that person. In the same fact, you continuously go out, read books, go to the gym, do the things that you need to do, or else you're on the losing end of a, of a stock that someone who someone was attracted to is not attracted to anymore. It's a double-edged sword, is that if you're staying the same, girls that were attracted to you six months ago who self-developed and grew in their career and their uh, their personality may not be attracted to you because you stayed the same. And as Mike Olson said, and as I just said, is that you, if you stay the same, you're actually decreasing. How's it going? Charles Botenston here. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you really like this, please subscribe to this. I also have a travel vlog and I'm probably gonna be coming out with a daily vlog. I've been thinking about it for a while. That's in the links below and that's where you can find my other YouTube channel as well as my favorite social media, which is Instagram. You can follow me in that link as well. Hope you have an awesome day. As always, live with a high frequency state 
And if you don't know what that is, I have a video about it.